he's he's loud, but he's he's also loving and, and funny. He make he make jokes and all that type of stuff, and so he's smiling and stuff like that. So you know, he's a great coach. And, uh, yeah, I love everybody on the team. What do you, coach staff, everything. What do you attribute to his success to? What is it that makes him so successful? Um, he I I, I just feel like he he. He's, he's sent from above because he everything he says is, is right. I see it. Like everything, every little thing connects, and it and it makes a difference. You don't do this, it affects basketball or, or something in your life some some way. And, and I just I just think that that he knows from experience. You know, him, him uh, coaches so long, him 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 seeing players like us and, and, and coaches players like us and, and uh, playing in a national championship game. He knows what it takes. So I think that that experience plays a huge part. He has he has a lot of wisdom and you know. When we, when we feed in and, and we do what we say, we, we, we usually come out with the win. Knowing that whoever you face, you're going to get a style that you're, you're comfortable with and, and used to. Um, I don't know. I think uh, me personally, I don't, I don't really look into like you know like the grind and outlook. I think it really. I think when it comes to us as a case, yeah, the case statement basketball team is really just us. Like we are in control of our own destiny. It don't matter how the other team plays. If we play K State men's basketball, we're in help. We're we're defending the way we're supposed to, and we're getting out of transition like we're supposed to. Then nobody can stop us. So it doesn't matter how anybody else plays. We just gotta do what we gotta do. Kind of in the same vein, you know, you come off conference where you've seen teams two and three times in the conference tournament. You know what to expect. Here you're facing somebody you haven't played all year. Does it make it more emphasis on just being you guys and not getting out of what you do? Yeah, of course. And uh, and the good thing is we have film from watching them last year. They have the, basically the same team. Of course, they got some uh, some new guys from it being another year. And of, of course, those guys got better. And uh, and you can see that with their record and and uh, the success they had in a uh, in a conference stuff like that. But uh, I feel that if we if we keep that same mentality that we had uh, the first time we played them at home, and we and we do and we do our job and, and handle business, that we can we can uh, come out with the win. You guys uh, have dealt with a lot of injuries, right? Like yours in particular. Is the, when the, in and out, when the lineups change, is the adjustment for you guys, is it more like sort of mindset, mental, or is it more like game plan, scheme kind of stuff? Um, but do you play differently or do you just need to think differently, I guess is what I'm asking. You. I don't, I think... I think the way our system is set is is really set for you know everybody to succeed. And if you, no matter if you know uh, it's, a, it's a Dean in that spot or or X or or James Love or Levi Stalker, like in that spot, you're gonna you're gonna we're gonna put you in position to score and make a play. And everybody, I feel, I feel like everybody's capable of shooting the ball well and, and you know getting a basket and, and creating for themselves. I think we have a lot of uh, creators on this team. And I think that you know it plays a huge part in, in our system and our and our plays and how we how we uh, execute. What are some of the biggest takeaways from watching film of last year's game with them? Um, I say it was our defense. We were we were hands up, uh, active on everything, making everything tough for them. No easy catches, and just you know denying it. They they're really good at running their stuff. And uh, when you let them execute, they're they're really hard to guard, and they have you know they have uh, really good bigs. And when they when they seal you when they seal you low, uh, it's really tough to defend that. And they're 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 talented down there, and they can make all types of left hook shot, right hook shot, fadeaway jumpers. So that you know that we we respect them. They're really talented. But if we take away those and uh, and, and play K State men's basketball. Uh, we can make it tough for them and give us opportunity to win. Tony, how does the extra day here in San Jose help you guys preparation-wise for this game? Um, I just feel like it it, uh, it got us accustomed to the you know time change in a way. I think we're two hours behind in Manhattan, so uh, that's the difference. I know the first day I felt it like it was like I think it was like nine o'clock, and it did feel like it was like 11, 12 to me. So you know, going to sleep a little early, but. Um, today we woke up early, like how we would tomorrow for the game. So it's just you know getting the body used to that. We practice around the same time we would have the game. So it's just like you know getting accustomed to that. So yeah, um, I feel like that that helped a lot. What kind of things have you seen from Max Hazard on some tape? Have you seen anything from last year different that he does this year? Um, I see that the team is just overall a lot better. They mean. Uh, he's scoring the ball well. He got a good quick release. Um, we just got to be we got to be in him at all times. Uh, I noticed the biggest thing to me is that they have really good bigs and they feed it to them and they, they execute and they, they score down there in the paint. 
I know their bigs could uh, make the nice little floaters. Uh, they work on that, obviously. And, um, you know, I mean, they look like a really good team. So it's just – but uh, we've seen a lot of really good teams, and we've beaten really good teams. So it's just – it's just us, a mindset, and coming in, I'm ready to handle business. We're not a 4 c for no reason, so we gotta, uh, we gotta make sure we handle business tomorrow. You, hey, Kurt, go ahead. You don't have Dean Wade this year for the tournament, foreseeably. You didn't have him last year, and obviously he's, he's a big part of what this team does. But you know that you can do it uh, without Dean. You did it last year going to the Elite Eight. So what's the mindset of this team now going forth without your, your big guy? Well, uh, of course we know you know, Dean is uh, hugely missed in, in uh, uh, but it's, like you said, we've had, we've had the experience, we, we've got, we, we had that shock already. Last year was that shock, like, dang, we ain't had Dean. So now that we got that experience and, and learn how to play without him, uh, we just, it's just that next man up mentality. And uh, the next person is going to step up and, and, and handle the business and do what, we, do what we're supposed to. And, we, of course, we've we've adjusted to, you know, stuff like that because we know what Dean like and stuff like that. So we've made adjustments. But uh, I think everybody's been past that already. Like, you know, there's no Dean. It's over. We don't even talk about it, no, but because it's, we can't we can't change that. So uh, we know what we can do, and that's play our hearts out uh, and, and give ourselves a chance because it's uh, when to go home, and we're not trying to go home.